everyone, my name is Crystal and I work at the Essex branch of the Baltimore County Public Library. For today's STEAM activity, we are going to learn about light and the difference between transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. We're going to do this by making a DIY sun catcher, which is a good example of a translucent object. In order to make this, you will need white glue, like this. You don't need this much, this is just what I had at home. Food coloring in different colors. A plastic lid, like this. And this is optional, but if you would like, different colors of glitter. to make your sun catcher more sparkly. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is take your glue and pour it into your lid in a thin layer like this. You can move the lid around to spread the glue like this. It's important to not use too much glue because otherwise it'll take a really long time to dry and it won't be as translucent as it needs to be. Next, you're going to put in the colors of food coloring that you would like and make sure to only use a little bit of food coloring, just a couple of drops here and there like this. And a little bit of green. Next, you're going to take either a toothpick or an unbent paper clip like this to just very gently swirl the colors around. You really don't want to do it too much because as it dries, the colors will spread out. And then for the final touch, you can add a little bit of glitter. Glitter is something that you also don't want to use too much of because when you peel it off, you don't want all of the glitter to fall off. Okay, and believe it or not, that's all you really need to do. Next, you're gonna let it dry for about three to four days. And when it's all done, you're going to peel it from the plastic lid so that all you're left with is the sun catcher, like this. Another thing you can do is use a hole punch or scissors, if you're very careful, to make a little hole where you can tie a ribbon so that you can hang it up in the window. How can we tell that our sun catcher is translucent versus transparent or opaque? We can do this by using light. I have my flashlight here. And for example, with this book, the light does not shine through it at all and we cannot see it. This would be an example of an opaque object. On the other hand, I have this clear glass vase. When I shine my flashlight through here, you can see the light very clearly. Translucent means that an object is somewhere between transparent and opaque. For example, our sun catcher. When I shine the flashlight through here, you can see some of the light giving it a nice glow. You can hang your sun catcher up in a bright, sunny window to make a beautiful decoration. That's all I have for today. Be sure to check out bcpl.info for more of our virtual programs.